All right, guys, as, I've, as I explained in my post, okay, um, my 780 Ti was boosting past its 1080 or 1085 stock settings. Now, what, what I want you to try, okay, is play project cars with GPU Z running, okay, but then once you boot GPU Z up, you'll get to this screen, okay, go to sensors, and then where you've got your core clock, press that twice so then it goes maximum. What that does is that just displays your maximum megahertz on that core as it's monitoring as you're playing, basically. So do that for your core clock and do it for your temperature, okay? Um, if it is as though you get um, your card boosting past your 1080 or whatever it comes as from the manufacturer, if you're NVIDIA, um, and you got a gigabyte card like I had. I used the gigabyte software. Now, that gigabyte software didn't work. Um, I monitored project cars with GPU Z, and it still boosted up to 1167. Now, I don't want that because my card should only boost to 1080 or 1085. So, for NVIDIA users, um, I'd recommend using NVIDIA Inspector. So, firstly, run GPU Z. Play project cars, GPU Z does not crash project cars, it doesn't. Okay, so boot up GPU Z as I've said there, set that to max, set that to max. So as you're playing the game, it will monitor what your maximum megahertz are as you play. Now, when you get the unhandled, or if you get the unhandled exception error, okay, check this there, check your core clock, then check your temperature. Now, if your core clock, like mine, was 1167, and you look at your graphics card, and your graphics card say, says it should only boost to, like mine does, 1080 or 1085, then, for some reason, your card's boosting past it should do. Um, now, Project Cars, I know, has an issue um, with MSI. I'm not sure if that issue's been fixed yet, but what's worked for me is NVIDIA Inspector. Um, so, what I've had to do is... Where I've got all these there, all these settings there, on my clock offset, I've set that to minus 78. Now, when I play Project Cars, my card only boosts to 1084. Since I have done this with NVIDIA Inspector, um, which does not crash Project Cars, I can monitor core clock and temperatures. Both of these stay where I want them to be. My core clock will hit 1084 and will go no more. Um, temperature goes to 82 degrees, which is what the clock set as standard, which is there, um, which I am more than happy with. And this morning I have played Project Cars for four hours, in and out of Project Cars, in and out of um, a set of Corsa, because I was having an issue there as well. So it wasn't just particularly Project Cars. Um, and so far, everything seems to be running as it as it should be. So that's what I'd recommend people trying if you've got NVIDIA cards. All right, cheers, guys.